you shall not record down your sex. This is what the Holy Spirit say. It is a sacred act. You cannot record down your sex. And your phone camera, the function of the phone camera should only be for taking photos and places and the like of it. You cannot take photos. You shall not take photos of yourself to sexually appeal for the world or the community to see how beautiful or how handsome you are. Keep your mind pure. Be stable on the work of God and in the Holy Spirit's movement. If Moses can say that this animal is unclean, that animal is unclean, so the spirit of Moses will say that recording down your sex is unclean. You shall not do that. And taking photos of yourself to show how beautiful or how handsome you are to the world or for your own community to see, it is unclean also. What God gives you to do is enough. If you want more, seek it in God's kingdom and God will give you. Sex in marriage is not a privilege. It's not a privilege. Oh, I'm married. This is why, you know. No, do not yearn for it every time as if it is a privilege. If you read the book of Proverbs and you're learning things, it means that you are lesser than Solomon. But if you read the book of Proverbs, and it becomes only a reminder to you, not as a teaching, but a reminder because you already know these things from the Holy Spirit. It means that your anointing is not lesser than Solomon's. I want to tell you what is the grace to withhold the rain from heaven to fall. John the Baptist withheld the rain from heaven to fall. I want to explain to you that because when you know the truth and you stop behaving like a worldly person, you know your calling, you get your task from God and you hear God's voice. You are telling others, look at my lifestyle. It's so different from you worldly people. It's the same grace that John the Baptist can say. As surely as I live, the Lord lives whom I serve, there will be neither dew nor rain for the next few years except at my word. By his lifestyle, John the Baptist is equally declaring to others. So to know whether we ought to go to surgery or not, it is very simple. When you know that you have not sinned and that you still can go to God directly, whatever sickness that come onto you and God did not heal it, you can cure it by medicine. Okay? Because if you did not sin and you still can go to go to and you still can go to God directly, it means that the sickness you have uh, is caused by nature. You can hear God in this manner. I remember I was ministering to the Chinese uh, from China one-on-one -on -one, and they came in such numbers. I was ministering to them one-on-one -on -one, and powerful words were spoken, accurate ones. And then towards the end, I start to speak uh, in misty form you know, blurry form, half. We start to prophesy in part. Then after the service ends, I told the Chinese people from China, I said, do you understand what has just happened? Why is it that at the beginning, it is so powerful? I said this and that, your brother, your elder brother, and uh, you have four husbands, or all these things. But towards the end, 
it started to become prophesied in part. I am the one doing God's work. So I know, I told them, it's because God wanted me to stop. This is why God gave me prophecies in part. Although Jesus was a part of God, he is also fully human like us. Yet, he did not sin. It means that it is possible to not sin after you are baptized with the Holy Spirit. Do not say to yourself, Oh, I'm also another sinner. Yeah, I'm a human also. What? Mm, I sin. Never mind, just ask God for repentance. Lah. Mm. No. It is possible to not sin. But then here comes Paul Apostle. He said that even though if I never sin, that does not make me right before God. Now my conscience is clear, meaning Paul did not sin or his heart did not condemn him. But that doesn't make him innocent. It is the Lord who judges him. If <clears throat> we are sitting in the room and we never do any sin, our conscience is clear. Good. But that does not mean that you are innocent in God's sight. Because if you are not ready to go out to preach the gospel, you will not be held accountable when you're just sitting down at home reading the Bible like a little child. But if you are ready to go out to preach the gospel, but you're still sitting at home like a baby Christian, then you'll be held accountable even though Christian A did not sin and you as a Christian B do the same thing as the Christian A, but you will still be held accountable because it is the level. The more God reveals things to you, the more you are held accountable. Jesus Christ said, the person who knows much will be demanded much. The person who knows less will be demanded less. So a wise servant who knows the truth will be beaten with many blows. Bam, 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 bam. But if a servant who does not know the truth yet will be just beaten with few blows. 